Good day. My name is Shakir London and I will be sharing on emotional well-being. You know, none of us go to the doctor and on that initial interaction, the doctor takes up his scalpel and he decides, I'm going to perform surgery on you right away. You know, the doctor usually asks some questions. He begins to assess what is happening with this individual. In the same way, we ought to begin to assess what is happening with me emotionally. Where am I at? You know, so many of us, we get accustomed to living in toxic emotional environments and we, and that becomes our norm. That becomes our normal way of operating. But I have to begin to assess the fear. You know, do I have feelings of anxiety, extreme feelings of anger, you know, or sadness that I am not dealing with or have not been dealing with, but they are there affecting the way I live my life and how I, and my experience of life. So beginning to assess your emotions is important. Another thing to be, to, to be mindful of is that my thoughts fuel my emotions. What do I spend my time thinking about all day long? Most of us, we focus on a lot of the negatives, problems with the, with the children, problems with the family, problem, problems on the job, in school, financial situations. And we replay these thoughts over and over in our minds, you know, and these thoughts affect the way we feel, you know, they, they fuel the emotions. So it's, it's so important to, be, to, to, to know that I need to begin to, to change the type of thoughts that I'm having. I cannot allow certain types of thoughts free reign into my, into my mind, free access. You know, um, what are the positive things that I'm thinking about? Can I reflect on moments and experiences that were amazing, that were great? I did such a good job in boosting my mood. You know, if I begin to spend a large quality, quantity of my day reflecting on, on these types of thoughts, then over a period of time, I would begin to see the change in my emotional state, my emotional, like, emotional experience. So many of us also repress or we or we avoid we run away from from certain types of emotions difficult emotions things that we don't want to, to face especially when they are linked to trauma trauma from childhood and even adulthood you know and so we push them away we try to we lock them away as some people would say but am i at the place where i am willing to face the things that i have pushed away and locked away knowing that in facing them and in dealing with them in processing them i'm able to have a better quality life and that is what I would want you to want for yourself, you know, my emotional well-being. I want a better quality of life. And so I have to be willing to face the things that I have locked away, you know, and you may need professional help to do that with, and that's okay. But it, it is in facing those things that you're able to be set free from, from the weights that you've been carrying for so long. So, I mean, that is my presentation today on emotional well-being, and I trust that it was beneficial to you. And just some tips in terms of, of um, changing and better in your life. Take care. God bless.